Welcome back to Over 55. I'd like to introduce our first guest, Laurel Hevenor Valance. Hello, Laurel. Hi there. Laurel is with the Meals on Wheels London, and yes. Laurel is the executive director. So tell us a bit about Meal on Wheels when you started and a little bit about the organization itself. Well, the organization's been around for 41 years now. It's uh, kind of an icon, I like to think it is, anyways. And uh, we provide two basic services, meals and transportation. Okay. Um, and like, they are very basic, but they certainly are very important if you are elderly and trying to stay in your own home. Uh, if you don't have those two things, you know, you're not going to be there. No, I, I, I agree. I, I found that in the nonprofit world, that's, that's critical. And uh, I guess on the meal side, there are criteria that you have to meet to, to get meals, are there? Like yes. age and... Well, seniors okay. and adults with disabilities, but we also service people with short-term disabilities. If you've had a knee replacement or you're ill for a certain length of time and you just can't you know, stand at right. the counter to make your meals, we will provide meals for you until you're back on your feet again. Okay, now you have... I, I've been at your facility and you have fresh meals and you have frozen yes, meals as well. Yes, yes, we have both and they, they uh, some people use both services. Um, it's nice with the hot daily meals because that way there's someone, a volunteer at your door every day, Monday to Friday, mm -hmm. and the weekend meals we deliver on uh, Friday okay. with the, uh, the hot meal. And that's good because now you're having constant, like you said, a daily, I never thought of that, but that's good of the daily contact with somebody coming into your door yes. for safety even to see if Well, exactly, you're because above. if we don't get an answer at the door, uh, volunteers call us and we follow up with the emergency contacts. Okay. And we just got our uh, annual surveys back and it's amazing how many caregivers and clients have told us how reassuring that piece of the program is. Yeah, because we think of meals where we don't and that's that, that is, that's it is. critical. And, and I never even thought of that. You know, of that. and it is the number of times we have found people who've had a fall and they can't get up, and you know, had to call the ambulance okay. and things like that. So it's a big piece of it, really. Uh, cost involved. Cost for the meals. We have uh, the hot meals are seven twenty-five. We do have a subsidy program for clients on a fixed income, and uh, with that program, the meals are four dollars. Same with our frozen meal program. The frozen meals we deliver once a week, which is kind of nice for people who might have commitments like dialysis or appointments, or they're still able to get out and go to the senior center and yep. you know things like that. We don't want people sitting home just no. because they're waiting for a meal. So now, how would they how would they sign up to get on meals and meals? Do they call or are they? Yes, you don't, you don't have to uh, be referred by a physician. You okay. can self-referral. Uh, we do have lots of family members that call as well, asking questions and taking the information. We Now on our website, you can uh, register online. It's a basic registration form, and then you will get a call the following day to follow up and determine what service it is you need, the volume of service mm -hmm. you want. and. Okay. I know this is a, I'm sure you know because you do numbers like I have to do numbers. Uh, how many meals you would serve a year? Uh, a little over 100,000, about 115,000. Holy. That's our budget, <laughs> and we're apt to go over that this That's year for lot. meals. That's, That's a lot. That's a lot of is meals. Is it increasing? Are you seeing an increase in, in the. Um, it service? increases steadily each year, yes. Now, I know yes. your organization, like all of us out there with nonprofits, we rely heavily on volunteers. Oh, for sure. Uh, we wouldn't be here without them. Uh, so you are, I guess the majority of your people are volunteers that are delivering the, the meals? 360 wow. volunteers we have. That's a lot. Between the two programs and we have some office volunteers as well, but I mean the majority of them are out there. Every day there's, you know, 60, 70 volunteers on the roads That's for incredible. Meals on Wheels. Now there's another thing Meals on Wheels have that a lot of people know and I know I promote your organization for driving. Mm -hmm. Where somebody needs to drive to a doctor's or a hospital. Yes, for sure. Yeah. And that uh, now in that program um, has seen years where the growth was phenomenal. This year it seems to be a little slower, and I don't know why because we certainly um, are able to fill you know ninety eight percent of the requests that we get uh, for okay, appointments. Now on that, you have a I think a twelve dollar fee. Is it uh, twelve dollars round trip anywhere in the city? Okay, once a week. Is that correct? We will do twice a week okay. if we can. And you need at least a week's notice? 
We do. Uh, volunteers, <laughs> you know, they they need a little notice, and sometimes it takes you a day or two to get hold of them. And right. you know, it's yeah. not like a, a taxi where they're sitting there waiting for yeah, you. Yeah, and to I, call. I try to explain that because I, I get calls to our organization, and, and I mm -hmm. promote yours because it's a it's a, a very good deal. It's a good price. Mm -hmm. uh, it's people that are seniors. Uh, probably a lot of them are seniors that are driving as well. I, I would guess. Oh yes, that would be a okay. safe bet. Now another big thing, you have a fundraiser. Coming and it's up. Uh, yeah. uh, in April, is it? March. Or March, okay. March Maybe 26. you can tell us a bit about that. It's our annual Walk for Wheels, and we hold it at the Covenant Garden Market. Um, we don't get a, you know, it's, we aren't standing there ticking off how many times you go around the track. <laughs> right. it's, uh, it's, it's more like a party, and it's nice there because you can see everybody at the same time. Right. And uh, the people, we have a silent auction. We have lots of prizes for everybody. And it's a, we have clients now and volunteers that come out and support a lot. The Covenant Garden Market has been wonderful to us They're there. a good place, yes. And uh, people really enjoy it. It's a fun afternoon. Okay. So the date and the time, or the March, date and the hour. March 26th, and I don't know the exact hour, okay. but I would think it's about 2 o'clock. Okay. It's in the afternoon. Okay, so... Okay, Laurel, I thank you very much for coming on our well, show. Thank you. I hope people learn about Meals on Wheels because it is a great organization. Well, I hope they give us a call if I we can help. I do too. Thank you very much. And be, uh, we're going to go to a, a sort of a new segment. It's called uh, the Home Renovation Program by Over 55 with Kathy Smith, who graciously sat in for me last week and did a heck of a good job. Uh, so right after this break, we'll be back with Kathy. <laughs>